going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create this colour strobe effect in Vegas Pro 15. Just before I get into this video, if you aren't already, be sure to go ahead and follow me on Twitter, follow me on Snapchat and of course follow my Instagram and if this video does come across as useful for you, be sure to hit the subscribe button and be sure to like the video. So here's the edited version and of course the version you saw at the start. All I'm going to do is just duplicate this across so it has no effects on. So you can see this is the raw footage. Uh, there's no color to it. Basically it's just blue. And now we're going to make it look a lot better. For this you're going to head over to video effects. And if you don't see the video effects tab, what you want to do is head over to view, select windows layout, and then select default layout. From here you're going to go over to video effects and then you're going to be looking for glow. So you can see glow is here. And where it says default, you're going to be dragging and dropping this onto your video. So this is what it will look like at first and now we need to adjust the settings and then we'll get on to adjusting the colour. Everyone has their own opinions how they want it to look and how strong they want the effect to look. So for me, I'm going to give you, I'd say, a base mark and then you can adjust to how you want it to look after. So I'm going to bring this up to there. You can see our video is just about showing. And then I'm also going to bring up the suppression. Uh, so this is so not everything is going to be changing colour, just certain parts, you can see the darker parts are now black. Then where it says colour, I'm actually going to start this off as white. So you can see basically the normal colour. Now we are set, the next thing we're going to be doing is animating colours. So where it says colour, we're going to select the animation button. Now we're going to come across in our timeline, you can see, make sure you have it sync cursor to media timeline highlighted and then when you move here you can see the music also moves here or the uh, video. So every second I'm going to be changing colour so I'm going to come across my timeline and this is now a second. Not precise but you can see it says one second right here. Then where the colour box is I'm going to select this and for example I will select red. You can see this is now what we've got. I'm then going to come across again another second and I will select orange. So I'll just work my way up like this again and it's this simple. So what we're doing right now is creating keyframes for those that aren't familiar with keyframes. And each time we are selecting a different color, you'll notice we're laying down these diamond shapes. These diamond shapes, of course, are keyframes. So super, super simple, super quick to do this effect. And you can see it's really simple and it's effortless. It does not require a lot of time. And this is something you can definitely add onto your music video if you ever edit a music video or if you shoot one. Then once I'm happy with everything and I want everything to go back to normal, say nine seconds of strobe, at the 10 second I want everything to go back to normal, you need to toggle the animation on everything else, uh, which will be the intensity and suppression since we haven't touched the glow percent. So toggle the animations. On the first keyframe, you can leave it as it is. Come to the last keyframe you created, lay down keyframes by pressing this button. So select intensity, lay down a keyframe, select suppression, lay down a keyframe as well. Then we can come across uh, again another second and I will now turn everything down. And this will put everything back to normal. And believe it or not, this is now complete. So I'll play this through. So you can see we've got the lights changing colors. We've got his hat there, changing the green. And you can see some purple coming in. Everything here is changing. Notice not a lot was changing, so this was a mistake on my half. Uh, so if I come to here, it would actually be the suppression we would need to bring up as well as the intensity. So let's go, for example, the green. If I bring up the intensity and then also the suppression, we bring it up a bit more, down a bit more, sorry. You can see we now get different types of effects and it's much more stronger. So you can play around with this, you can choose how strong, how well you want this to look. Uh, so for example, I'll just play around with it here. This should now look better, I'll play it through again. Starting off with a strong red, strong orange, yellow, green. You can see everything now looks a lot better. So just testing the suppression, see how you like it. And of course, you've got yourself a really nice effect. As mentioned at the start of this video, if this tutorial has come across as useful, be sure to hit the like button, be sure to hit the subscribe button, and also don't forget to go ahead and follow me on my Instagram, 
follow me on Snapchat and also follow me on Twitter.